Welcome to the NSIC Spotlight, the voice of the NSIC student athletes, powered by GPAC. GPAC, growing people and companies. I'm your host, Nick Corner, Assistant Commissioner at the Northern Sun. Today, we are joined by Joey Bat of the Minnesota State Mavericks women's basketball team. Joey, thanks for joining us on the Spotlight. Thank you so much for having me. All right, as always, let's get started by you telling us a little bit about yourself. Um, so I am from New Orleans, Minnesota, which is about uh, 40 minutes from me and Cato, which is super nice. So my family gets to come to a lot of the games and everything. I'm a COVID junior, so I still have next year too, which is exciting. And then I'm majoring in elementary education with a minor in family consumer science and psychology. Hi, and what's your plans to do with that degree? Uh, um, I'm not really sure yet. I would like to stay like somewhere in the Midwest, but obviously just go and like be a teacher somewhere. Honestly, if they need the position to be like a gym teacher or something with education, I would like that too. Outstanding. All right. And what was it about Minnesota State besides its proximity that drew you there? I think that when I first came to like a couple practices and games, I just noticed that the team chemistry was like amazing. Like you could see that like they brought like the chemistry from the court and off the court too. So I think just like knowing that it was more of like a family instead of a team was something that really stood out to me. All right, and to the court, as the Mavericks are off to a 9-0 and start, you're 5-0 in NSIC play, ranked fourth in the nation, and are outscoring your opponents by over 26 points per game. What's uh, making this team so special this year? I just think we're a very athletic group, and we all play off of each other really well. We have a bunch of different, our coach calls it multiple weapons. Um, so I feel like there's just strengths that each person brings that isn't the same for everybody. So I feel like that just makes it really hard to, like, stick with us or play with us uh last week in the mavericks defense for 65 turnovers in two games how would you describe the style of play i just think defense is a main focus for us we definitely in our practices a majority of it is spent focusing on our defense and our defense is really unique like um you don't see many teams playing like with the intensity the full core and like the style of defense that we play with so I feel like just with that intensity that carries us to our offensive success as well and how would you describe your personal style of uh, style of play and did anyone have a major influence on how you play the game now when I was younger, I always wanted to be in the WNBA. So, like, I was a diehard Lynx fan. So, I just watched, like, my more Lindsay Whalen, and I saw all of their success. And, like, seeing their success pushed me to, like, want to eventually be to that stage. Um, but with my style of play, I'd say my coaches definitely influenced me the most just growing up and even in college, too. Just, like, pushing me to get the most out of me every single practice, game, rep, whatever it was. Um they knew like to use my speed and like my defensive intensity is will carry me far. Uh, you wear Jersey number one. You wore that both in high school and now at MSU. Any reason behind wearing the number one? Um, I'd have to say it's my second favorite number. My first favorite number is nine. Um, my dad is like my biggest influence and that's his favorite number. So I think that just kind of rubbed off on me, but we can't have number nine. Um, so I just went with number one and. Okay. Um, Coach Emily TC's coaching philosophy, uh, what is it and what's it like to play for her? Um, intense. I think that she brings like a really good intensity to no matter what we're doing, whether it's like a shoot around, a practice, a game. Um, she's always encouraging us to just get 1% better. That's like her line. Um, no matter what we're doing, even if it's just like a team event, like we want to get 1% better, 1% closer in everything that we do. And she really focuses on um, communication. That's our big key and just defensive too. So making sure that we're always talking to each other so that we can play off of each other. Earlier this month, you were honored for scoring your 1000th career point at MSU, the 23rd Maverick to do so. What's it mean to be part of that elite group? I think it really showcases, like, I've put a lot of work into um, throughout many of the years um, in the gym constantly just putting in and improving my game. But also, I think it shows, like, the confidence that my team has poured into me. Um, I feel like it wouldn't be, like, the cliche, it wouldn't be possible without them. But honestly, they have, like, helped my game transform so much, too, and my coaches, just to, like, the point of playing with that confidence to get to that standpoint is just... I owe it all to them. Uh, come game day, anything special, routines, anything you do prior to the start of the game? 
Nothing before the game, but while getting ready, I have to put everything on my left side first before I put my right side on. So that's just like a little superstition. All right, left side first. (laughs) All right, final question for you. What advice would you give to a young basketball player to help them in their development? I feel like it would just be to, no matter how bad you don't want to, uh, just always putting the work in. Like, it's going to be frustrating. It's going to get tiring. Like, I know growing up there are many times where I was like, I just want to not do anything today with basketball. But my dad was like, no, like we got to go to the gym and just having like an external influence too, like whether it's like a teammate or somebody to like go with you so that you're not going by yourself or like a parent or a coach um, really like um, encourages you to go to the gym anyway. So just like putting in the work, not getting frustrated, being where your feet are and just enjoying every moment. All right, a reminder to fans to get to the gyms this weekend. You guys head to Sioux Falls in Southwest Minnesota State on Friday and Saturday. All those games are aired live and free on the NSIC network. Check out northernsun.org for more information on all things NSIC. That's going to wrap up this week's show. Thanks again to our sponsor, GPAC. Joey, thanks for joining us. Best of luck to you and the Mavericks the rest of the season. Thank you very much.